Well, here we are again today. I'm going to be reviewing John West Deli Tuna in soy and caramelized garlic oil. And this is exciting um, because I hadn't heard of Deli Tuna before and I didn't even know that John West had that line out. And even when I went onto their website, I couldn't find any information about it. So this is probably really new to the market. Now, you might be wondering, well, what's the difference between the deli tuna and then just your standard um, John West um, with, you know, chili oil or um, in brine? Well, interestingly, the, the height uh, of these two uh, tunas is very slightly different uh, where this is your 90 grams uh, in the deli tuna and then your standards 95. So from what I could find, the deli tuna is designed to be your kind of lunch on the go uh, because it's infused with lots of really fancy gourmet combinations like soy and caramelized garlic or flamed grilled capsicum. Now the regular ones just have your standard base, uh, which is like I said, the tuna in brine or the spring water, for example. So you need to add extra seasoning uh, to be make it an interesting lunch. Although I am a bit confused uh, because this standard one is actually tuna uh, with mild Indian curry. So I kind of wonder, well, what's the difference um, between this standard, even though it's got gourmet uh, ingredients versus the deli in tuna, um, which is uh, meant to also uh, be different, but so similar in my mind. Now, I'm going to be reviewing the tuna uh, with mild Indian curry uh, very soon. So uh, keep watch out for that one. The great thing uh, about this deli tuna apparently is it uses really good quality uh, cuts of meat um, and it's only in chunks. Uh, they refer to it as high quality loin cuts. Whereas as we've seen with the regular tunas, uh, it can actually come from uh, really good cuts of meat um, all the way down to being flaked and you just don't know what you're gonna get. So with the 90 gram um, gourmet uh, deli tuna, you can take it on the go and put it into a, a really great salad and I'm sure you'd have a really nice meal. So let's have a look and have a taste. It is quite pretty packaging. Ring pull. Oh, I didn't check where it's from. So it's uh, yellow fin tuna. Uh, usually it's from, yes, made in Thailand. Yeah. As, as all the other John West products that we've reviewed. Oh, goodness me. Yep, she's tight. Oh. They claim that the packaging's better quality too, but I've just found it's hard to get off. All right, so as you can see, um, you've got a lot of, lot of lovely oil there. Uh, I can see the onion here, which is very nice. Um, the smell is beautiful. So here's the loin cut, not flaked at all. Not mushy like that one time. Can't remember which brand it was. Was it Coles? Someone can remind me. Oh gosh, it's a bit hard to get out. There we go. Nice chunks. Apparently this tuna in the deli tuna range is also meant to be uh, softer and um, more, more tasty. So the good chunks there, let's have a go. See if I can get some of that caramelized onion there. Um, I feel, all I can taste is ginger. I'm just checking to see. Yep, there is ginger in there. Uh, soy, garlic powder, sugar. Uh, vegetable oil. I'm I'm a bit disappointed. Um, it's it's does it's advertised as being uh, soy 
and caramelized onion. Um, I, I don't I don't think this is um, a good representative um, of it um, in relation to the relation to the flavor. So the tuna wasn't too bad. It's definitely not as dry as some of the cheaper ones that I've reviewed. Uh, so if I wanted um, tuna in, in um, ginger, I would buy this product again. Uh, however, I, I, I don't think it's, it's a good mix there of flavor. So yeah, let me know what you think.